Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a sweet little girl named Little Red Riding Hood, who lived in a small village surrounded by a dense forest. She always wore a red cloak with a hood that her grandmother had made for her, hence the name Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to take some goodies to her grandmother, who lived on the other side of the forest. The goodies included a delicious cake, some fruits, and a bottle of wine. Little Red Riding Hood was excited about the task and quickly set out on her journey. As she walked through the forest, Little Red Riding Hood came across a sly and cunning wolf. The wolf was hungry and wanted to eat Little Red Riding Hood and her goodies, but he didn't want to scare her, so he came up with a plan. He pretended to be friendly and helpful and asked her where she was going. Little Red Riding Hood, being a naive and innocent girl, told the wolf about her errand to her grandmother's house. The wolf then came up with a wicked plan to reach the grandmother's house before Little Red Riding Hood eat her grandmother. When he arrived at the grandmother's house, he found her sitting in her rocking chair. He quickly tied her up and hid her in the closet so he could eat her later. When Little Red Riding Hood finally reached her grandmother's house, she noticed that something was not right. The wolf, pretending to be her grandmother, welcomed her inside. Little Red Riding Hood was a little scared, but she trusted her grandmother and went inside. She noticed that her grandmother looked different, but she didn't suspect anything until the wolf revealed his true identity and tried to eat her. But just as the wolf was about to pounce on Little Red Riding Hood, a brave woodsman who heard her scream came to her rescue. He beat the wolf with his axe, causing him to run away in fear. The woodsman then searched the grandmother's house and found her tied up in the closet. He untied her and they all sat down to enjoy the goodies that Little Red Riding Hood had brought. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood never spoke to strangers and always stayed on the path while walking through the forest. She also learned to be brave and cautious and always listened to her instincts.